Looks like we have another world's first on our hands. The boys over at KP Pigments just sent me something special, something unexpected. This is supposed to be the world's first purple to black hypershift. Does it work? We haven't tested it. We only got four small bags, so obviously we're going full scale right out the gate. Let me show it to you. My first look at it in powder form, okay? So this looks very rich, very deep. You can see the purple tones. You can see the black tones. Now, Gabe, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is likely to be similar to ZBB, where it goes from blue to black versus the ZBO and ZBR, which go from black to red and orange. Correct. What that means to us and to you is that we go the lightest pigment load possible. Because if we go too much, it's likely to lose that purple to black and go into a whole nother range. So you're thinking five grams a gallon? Oh yeah. Safe, we can always add more, right? So we're gonna do 10 grams here. And then like usual, we're gonna cut it with one more gallon of glossy top coat. We are gonna use this in the traditional format right over a black base here on the, uh, on the old M3. Okay, it's floating. It's not super dense, it's not super heavy. It is a very dark pearl, so this looks a little bit different to me than the ZBB. Let's see what happens when we mix it up. I'm definitely seeing, what do you see? I'm seeing some violet, purpley violet tones. I got some deep purples for sure. Yeah, I got something funky going on the top here. Huh. See, now the question is, is what I'm seeing on top gonna show at those extreme angles. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Uh, hold on, let me show you Stick of Truth first. Wow, that is weird. All right, this will tell us a lot right here. So five grams a gallon, so it's not gonna be super saturated, but I am getting black and purple. Hit that one more time. So everything seems correct right now, but look at this. Let me see if I can catch this. So here's what I'm seeing on the side. And then that's, you see that right there? That is what I'm getting on top. What color is that? Is that almost like a green? I can't see it from here. Okay, now I'm not nervous, but what's the word? Per not perplexed. Intrigued? Intrigued. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right, so world's first purple to black hypershift, hopefully. You ready? Oh, yeah. I'm pumped. 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? Let's go 10. 10 out of... You've seen it. That's the face of a man who is 10 out of 10 excited. Let's go. All right, guys, we're all done with the project, and I know this is going to be a super popular pearl, so let me just walk you through a couple things so you know what to expect. We used five grams per gallon on this project and only sprayed two coats over a black base, and in that configuration, it is absolutely a purple to black shift. However, 
in certain lighting at certain angles, you are still going to see some crazy green hues coming through. The more coats that you apply, the more pearl you add per gallon, that's going to amplify those green tones. So I'm going to bring it outside so you can check it out. The color is nuts. You know what to do. Take a good look at this car, leave a comment below, and rate this one for me one through five. Now also, I'm gonna show you this pearl over a bunch of different base colors at the end of the video like we always do, and I'm making a mental note here. The more you put down, the more those greens come through. I'm definitely gonna do a video in the future where we overload this pearl and see how crazy it can get. If you wanna change the color of your emblems, your wheels, or your whole car, head straight to dipyourcar.com. We have a ton of colors and a ton of kits. All of them are DIY friendly. Gabe and I had a ton of fun on this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will see you on the next one. <laughs>